In this video we're going to introduce the uh, concept of information coding. In this video we'll, we use a lot of resource um, borrowed from the Wikibooks site, Wikibooks A-Level Computing. So I want to reference that, a very useful site. First of all, ASCII codes. ASCII codes are 8-bit codes. It's essentially a lookup table that looks up a, a numerical value and then a code uh, coming in from the keyboard or being printed to the screen. For example, we can look at this one, uh, and we can see here that the uh, that the letter A, lowercase a, is decimal number 97, hexadecimal 61, there's the octal equivalent. Uh, so we have the decimal number 97, A, B, so 98, 99, 100, and so the numerical number that represents this character goes in order. It's an 8-bit number, although 1-bit is used for parity check. Uh, for error checking, we're, we're sending it, so that leaves us 7. So 7 to the power of 2 equals 128 possible characters in ASCII code. 128 possible characters. And uh, when we need to exceed 128 po possible characters for other languages, for example, we use something called Unicode, which I'll go into in a moment. Let's just have a look at this. We've got the glyph or the character A, B, C. We've got the decimal 97, 98, 99, and we've got the binary equivalent. Um, it's likely that you'll be asked questions. The type of question you will be asked is if we give you the letter A and it's 97, then you will have to uh, give the binary for the letter E. And therefore what you do is you find out that uh, there's uh, four characters between A and E, so we have four, so we have to add four to the number 97, so we get the decimal number 101, then we, um, so we have the decimal, and we add the number four in binary to the binary equivalent of 97 to come up with um, the binary equivalent of 101. So you can either just calculate the, uh, the decimal number by going up the alphabet and then convert it to binary, or you can convert it to binary and do a binary addition to come up with a number. So this is the type of question you'll be asked in an exam. So really it's a, it's a conversion from decimal to binary and a binary addition type question uh, within the context of ASCII. That's the type of thing that you might be asked. Let's have a quick look now at Unicode, where there's several versions of Unicode. We've got um, UT F8, 16 and 32, 8 bits, 30, 16 bits, 32 bits, um, 8 bits, uh, the number of characters available, 256, um, 65,000, and a lot more than that, depending on how many bits we're using. So when I, once again, just like uh, ASCII 7 to the power of 2, then we have 8 to the power of 2, 16 to the power of 2, and 32 to the power of 2. Now we'll look very briefly at the parity bits. When we're transmitting data, it is it is possible for data to be, become corrupt, and we need to do some basic checking on that. So parity bit is used for checking errors when sending data. If you're using even parity, oops, sorry about that. If you're using even parity, and the data has an odd number of ones, then the parity bit will be set to one to make the number of ones even. So for instance, if the data I'm sending is 110011 and I'm using even parity, then I'll set my parity bit to 1 because that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if that's for odd parity, that will give me 5 ones. The same number, if it's set to even parity, then I'll set the parity bit to 0 because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 ones here. So I want it to be even for even parity, the number of ones to be odd. And so you have some exercises around that to do. So this is a parity bit. There's another type of check that we can use called a Hamming code. It's a slightly more complex code, but it checks the errors in transmission, but it also corrects them. And I'll do that in the follow-up video. Thank you.